It's time for the Adventures of Damsel Doggy, another Spelunky Daily Challenge, starring Brian. It is Thursday night for Brian when I'm recording this. I'm usually not as good at playing Spelunky at night as I am in the morning, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but obviously, I'm recording tonight as opposed to tomorrow morning, because tomorrow morning is when PAX starts. And so tonight is kind of the last real chance before I've got too many other obligations going on. Let's see, should I try to get in there? Can I get in there? Hmm. I would like to get there, but it isn't clear to me that it will be easy to do with one bomb. And so we'll try to see if we can find another way around. I think I heard Damsel Doggy somewhere to the left. It's about to call Damsel Doggy our hero. I wonder if Damsel Doggy really is our hero. Maybe I'm the villain, based on how the uh, previous episode went. Was the previous one, or probably two ago, where I ended up just like throwing Damsel Doggy, just like hurling him right into a uh, hazardous situation of one sort or another. Let's see. I really feel like there's going to be no way to get back to the left, and there's a bunch of stuff over here, but I don't know if I can get to any of it. Like Damsel Doggy, there's a crate. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to any of that stuff. I'll be curious, I don't know, <laughs> it's going to be busy the next few days. I'm going to be curious to watch other people's videos, but I don't know that I'll have time to watch everybody's Splunky Daily Challenge just to find out what was over there. But it looks like we are not going to find out in my video. Instead, I'm going to head to the exit and just be happy about the fact that we have managed to survive 1-1 without having too much trouble. All right, let's move forward. Let's not worry about it too much. It's really the case that I should be playing a little less for absolute maximum score and more for uh, kind of like distance, like just trying to get as far as possible because I definitely need some practice in the ice caves and ideally in the temple so that, yeah, I can get back into practice in those areas, I imagine. And I honestly, like I just need more practice in the temple regardless, not just because I'm out of practice, but just because I haven't been there very much. All right, shop down there does not really look worth it. Um, the spider, what's the best way to try to get a bomb in your web? I'm unclear, but I'm gonna try. Will this work? This will either work or not work. It does not work. Okay, it's not what I wanted to do. Crap. I'm afraid that you're gonna come after me, so let's try to. Okay, you've gone somewhere now, down here, great. So I can hit you with that, and then I can jump on your head a few times, probably. Great, come over here, I'm gonna jump on you again. There you go. Great. Nice, one more, there we go, great. And that was also really good, because in general, I, have a, I struggle a lot with killing the spiders, the big spiders. Oh man, but if I rob the shop, I could, ugh. Oh. I don't, oh man, I don't see any obvious other, I want to sacrifice the shopkeeper's body on the, whatchamacallit, Kali's altar, but I don't have enough bombs to be spending a bomb, and I could just whip him, hmm. No, I said I'm going to try to go for uh, distance and take a little less risk, and so I'm actually going to do that. At least on this level, oh my gosh, <laughs> that would have been really handy. Um, if I had thought ahead of time that that was even a possibility, I could have potentially used the chest to kill the shopkeeper. That would have required extreme skill as well. Okay, let's not worry about that. Let's instead worry about the fact that, um, A, have we sufficiently looked for the chest? I think we have. Let's worry about the fact that the ghost is about to arrive in 10 more seconds. And the exit's right over at the wall, and so it's a dangerous situation. So let's get Damsel Doggy to the exit, and let's get Brian out right before the ghost arrives. And hope for, I don't know, more favorable conditions in the levels to come. Oh boy. So let's see, with packs coming up, um, I don't know. I feel like I've kind of talked about a lot of the stuff already. Is there anything still that I need to talk about? There probably is, and I'm just not thinking of it. I didn't try to organize my thoughts beforehand. Bingo! That's something I can talk about. I spent a lot of time working on bingo today, and it's actually, honestly, it's it's starting to come along. Um, I'm sure there's still going to be a lot of work, and I haven't done any 
significant testing yet. I'm definitely going to save the bulk of the testing until the final version of Minecraft 1.8 uh, is released, even though we're in pre-release 3 right now, and it seems like we're pretty, pretty much pretty close to the final, this is my final form kind of thing. Woo! Hello. Um, let's see. I can jump on your head. Nope, crap. But I will take some damage because I didn't jump very well. And you, sir, can die over here. That'll set that off. Great. I don't really need anything over here. Um, there's the exit. Wow, so I guess... Alright, I guess we're going to have the locked chest appearing on 1-4. Oh, ah. that was just foolish. Um, I got no excuse for that, really. Okay, you are not coming to life. You are. And I'm not going to be able to get up there very easily. Okay, we're just going to go move forward again. So yeah, Bingo is coming along. Um, I know I'm going to talk to some people at PAX uh, about the new features, and so perhaps if I do... Uh, a vlog or something uh, this weekend. Um, some people were really curious to hear about what the new feature is going to be. Um, and so at some point in the not too distant future, that information will become publicly available. <laughs> uh, but not quite yet. And let's see. Oh man, that's really. I still only have three bombs, so I'm not going to rob that shop either. Alright, well, that's. You know, no shopkeepers, no angry shopkeepers will theoretically be good for my longevity. Oh, but there's a vault over there. Yeah, we're just going to sacrifice the vault and score. Like I said, we're going to stick to a plan for once. Um, how am I going to do this? The bat, I think, will get caught in the spider web, so I don't think he's really a threat. Yeah, great. I will go ahead and try to do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you are dead, sir. Here is the locked chest. Still haven't seen the key. Hopefully it's near the bottom left. If not, I will be unhappy. Okay, let's be careful. Darn. So where is the key? Is it above me over here? There's Damsel Doggy. That's the guy I heard taking damage earlier. Okay, that's already gone off. I can't tell if that one's already gone off. Where's the key? Is it back up the top left somewhere? Oh, this is bad. I think we might not be getting the uh, block chest. Just want to make sure I'm not missing it in some obvious spot. Yeah, I'm not about to spend a whole bunch of ropes to go back up and to explore. I didn't miss it anywhere in the bottom, right? Nope. Darn. Okay, now we have the additional handicap. Actually, I don't need to spend ropes to go back up here. Hold on. Hold the phone. And I might even be able to use those guys to jump. Hmm. Is there something over there that I didn't look at? Not really. Yeah, I'm running out of time. Okay, we're going to try to identify the location of the black market by sight. We are going to continue to bemoan the fact that we are relatively low on resources. Ooh, dead or restless. Might be able to get a shotgun without... Um, Angering a shopkeeper. That could be nice. Okay, looking around for the black market. Don't see it anywhere over here. It is possible that I will look around and it will be plainly in sight and some of you will see it and I will not. Uh, but how is that different from anything else, really? Okay, um, this guy is worth robbing and he's totally robbable, so we are going to totally rob him. Hey, guy. Great. Uh, teleporter could be handy. But once again, it's also a risky risky proposition item. And we're trying to eliminate the... Well, not eliminate the risks, but reduce the risks. Mitigate the risks. That is what Brian is all about. So many undeads. Um, with 15 bombs now, I could get some extra money here, which would be good since it's a daily... And we could go to the Haunted Castle. Hmm. All right, there's the exit. Let's at least get the crown. How much is it worth? 40,000? It's only worth 5,000. It's not very much. 
Uh, I haven't noticed if Ash's tomb is anywhere. I've got climbing gloves now, don't I? Yes, it's down here. I don't need Ash's tomb because I already got a shotgun. Ha ha! Ha, I know how this game works. Um, is it worth... Well, I definitely want to come down here because there is a crate. I also wanted to grab that. And it's ropes. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't think it's a smart idea for me to go to the Haunted Castle. And so we're going to take a little bit more of a look to see if we see the Black Market entrance anywhere. There's a fair amount of places that it could be on this level. That would be relatively kind of hidden and invisible to me. Um, hmm. But I don't see it, and so I think we're going to move forward. And hope for the best. At least we have some resources now. We've got climbing gloves. And... Yeah. Some possibilities to have success, even if we were to miss the black market. And... More bombs. Great. Okay, so that's good. Oh, and a uh, place where we can sacrifice that guy. Let's go ahead and get this corpse uh, down. Oops, down here. Um, let's see. How do I kill this guy? I could spend up to six bombs and it would be worth it. Nice! And let's go ahead and open that up. What was it? Oh, it's a boomerang. I'll go ahead and drop that off here. I'm going to spend a bomb right here. So we can sacrifice the shopkeeper's corpse. Okay, so that got us a little bit of Kali favor. That'll get us a little bit more. Crap, hurry, hurry, hurry. That'll get us some more. And this, I think, will give us a gift. I think this will give us a gift, actually. Which would be really nice. Are there any visible crates? If so, I should get the crate before I get the gift. Um, but I don't think I see any crates. Um, there's a little bit of stuff up there. We're not sacrificing Damsel Doggy, because that's my style. Alright, let's go ahead and get the gift. Cape! Very nice. Um, let me remember how to use the cape. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and use the cape. Kablamo! Alright, and I don't hear music from the other shopkeeper, so presumably he killed himself on a tiki trap or something. Um, don't know why I bothered to go over there. We need to be... I've been forgetting to look for the black market. Is it there? I don't think so. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know that I did a good enough job looking for the black market on the rest of this level. But if we did miss it at this point, it's kind of like, eh, so be it. Okay. Some more corpses. Oh crap! No! So, like, I kind of saw that coming, and yeah, that was just dumb. Oh well, uh, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and hopefully you will be seeing some blogs or photos or something from me from PAX uh, in the not-too-distant future. Um, here's everybody did yesterday. I think we already saw these, so I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.